Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers, final details for the Affordable Flying Expo released. The long-awaited Vans RV15 kit enters production. Spirit V2, designing and building a novel airframe is one thing. And I'm your host, Talon Blake. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sportplane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. The Affordable Flying Expo is coming this fall. After a master strategy meeting this past week on the grounds of the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo campus, details have been completed for the first Mosaic dedicated, Mosaic-centric, affordable flying expo. With the rule officially announced, AFE 2025 stands to be the best opportunity for Mosaic-interested folks to get their questions answered and for the industry to show the aviation community that they are ready to serve the expanding niche. The event is meant to be an uncomplicated way for interested people to get really up close and personal with the planes, products, and companies that interest them, with no air shows or other distractions, but a focused dedication on demo flights, indoor hangar displays, one-on-one -on -one experiences, and an impressive number of workshops, forums, and seminars to educate one and all. Among the many special features will be a Friday night Mosaic Town Hall, webcast live by ANN, that will feature real industry experts with answers to real questions. For exhibitors, there are some unique benefits to the event, such as one affordable price for indoor booth space that includes tables, chairs, draping, electrical, and Wi-Fi, and very close by static aircraft display areas right outside the hangar doors. All of this occurs at the best sport aviation facility in the South, the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo, this November 6th through 8th, 2025. Free admission is available for those 12 and under, though any profit from the event will be donated to the Aerospace Center for Excellence. AffordableFlying.net has current details with much more info coming. Other major announcements to follow over the coming weeks. After the break, iFly EFB's new flight planning app that won't break the bank. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. iFly EFB's new flight planning app that won't break the bank. Adventure Pilot has debuted its iFly EFB, an iOS, Android, and Windows compatible app. The company is currently offering a 30-day free trial plus a buyout deal if you're already subscribed to another EFB provider iFly EFB emphasizes clean, responsive menus, large high-contrast buttons, and minimal touch interactions. No deep gestures, dragging, or searching that make changing displays impossible in bumpy weather. Most functions are just two taps away. The app covers everything from VFR charts and airport diagrams to weather, NOTAMs, TFRs, fuel prices, and basic synthetic vision. World Skydiving Day 2025 nears record numbers. Falling just short of the 30,351 jump record set last year, the 2025 World Skydiving Day counted 26,718 skydives from almost 40 countries. The United States topped the charts this year with more than 13,000 jumps logged. The event held on Saturday, July 12th, was the second official World Skydiving Day. This tradition is jointly organized by the U.S. Parachute Association, British Skydiving, the Canadian Sport Parachuting Association, and the Australian Parachute Federation. The idea is simple. Get as many people out of perfectly good airplanes as possible in one day and log the numbers online. Air Avionics debuts in the U.S. market. 
Air Avionics, co-founded by Mark Federer, a long-standing German avionics company, officially made its debut in the United States at Oshkosh. With roots dating back to the late 90s and over 27 years of manufacturing in Europe, the company formally established itself in 2007 and merged with another aviation firm in 2015. Now they're expanding, hoping to develop more partnerships in the near future. Their systems, particularly lightweight LRUs and displays, have a primary focus on the light sport aircraft market and gliders. The design allows for LRUs to be set up in various ways. Cubcrafters unveils two new kits. Backcountry aircraft manufacturer Cubcrafters has tied two new aircraft into its experimental offerings by debuting kits for the X Cub and NX Cub. Brad Dom, VP of Cubcrafters, said, quote, We've had builders asking for an X-Cub kit for years, and we're proud to finally make it happen. This is a big moment, not just for us, but for every home builder who's dreamed of building a truly modern, high-performance backcountry airplane." End quote. The X-Cub is a high-wing tail dragger built for the backcountry and stole operations, with the NX-Cub being its nose wheel sister. That's it for today's Trip Around the Patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. The long-awaited Vans RV-15 kit enters production. Vans Aircraft RV-15 has officially gone into production. Wing kits will be first off the line, with deliveries expected before the year's end. Vans Aircraft is an iconic name in the home-built community, with more than 11,000 aircraft flying worldwide. The RV-15 marks the company's first departure from its trademark low-wing look, opting instead for a backcountry-capable, high-wing layout. It's powered by a Lycoming IO390 EXP119, paired with an 80-inch composite Hartzell Trailblazer propeller, giving the 2C aircraft a cruise speed of 140 knots. The RV-15 was first unveiled at AirVenture Oshkosh in 2022, with the original goal of hitting the market in mid to late 2023. Updates at the 2024 show included a revised production target of late 2025, followed by news in March that Vans had made substantial progress in finalizing the design. This year, Vans exceeded its own revised schedule by officially launching RV-15 production on the opening morning of AirVenture Oshkosh. Wing kits, which feature pre-punched aluminum skins and structural components for ease of assembly, are now available on the company's website at an introductory price of $19,650. After these messages, Spirit V2, designing and building a novel airframe is one thing. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com DirectFly USA proudly introduces the new Alto NG, a single-engine, two-seat light sport aircraft for the North American market. This simple, all-metal aircraft design provides low-maintenance cost, easy, comfortable access, and responsive flight controls. Equipped with a Rotax 912 engine and a ballistic parachute, the Alto NG is reliable and safe. Learn more about the Alto NG at directflyusa.com. Welcome back. Spirit V2. Designing and building a novel airframe is one thing. One of the many surprises at Oshkosh this year was not just the classic and classy new Spirit SE1, but the all-new engine that powered it. Spirit Engineering developed the Spirit V2, a two-cylinder engine specifically crafted for their single-seater SE1 aircraft, but it may eventually be seen in others. The Spirit V2 is a normally aspirated two-cylinder four-stroke engine with an inverted V configuration. It's air-cooled, boasts a dry sump lubrication system, and utilizes a magnetic discharge ignition system. The engine runs on either 91-octane ethanol-free MOGAS or 100LL aviation fuel. Spear Engineering validated the V2 engine through extensive testing in their specialized test cell, surpassing ASTM standards. Testing included hundreds of hours at max power to assess output, durability, detonation margins, and endurance. The V2 engine's compact design and direct drive system likely contribute to a favorable power-to-weight ratio, a critical factor for aircraft engines. The Spirit V2 was specifically designed to be integrated into Spirit Engineering's SE-1, their first special light sport aircraft. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.